Erica, the president's two weeks grace notice on immigration raids ends tomorrow. That's why communities like Pilsen have been mobilizing for several weeks now. They've been posting these signs right here that state this acronym, Immigration Customs Enforcement Free Zone, and residents know their legal rights because they want to make sure that this community welcomes immigrants. To know that when my sister finally gets into high school, when she graduates eighth grade, he's not going to be there. And that's what was taken away from me that day, a family. 21-year-old Damaris Posadas is emotional as she describes how ICE agents burst through her parents' home four years ago and arrested her and deported her father for being in the country illegally, an experience that has haunted her for years. And during that time, I had known some of my rights, obviously not all of them, but some of them, and I had asked for a warrant. I said, show me your warrant. Where is your warrant? At that point, the ICE officer proceeded to take his gun out and put it against my head. It was this experience that motivated this incoming Boston University graduate student, an immigrant, to join a local teen group called La Fuerza Juventud, Right to Family Canvas. Fuerza en Juventud is Spanish for strength and youth. These volunteers hit the pavement today and faced high temperatures to educate residents about their rights and distribute flyers. They believe ICE agents will conduct massive undocumented removal operations that President Donald Trump said will happen this weekend. You're just letting people know, do not open the door. The Mahdi's parents brought her to this country when she was three years old. Her father died in Mexico trying to cross back illegally. She says the broken immigration system keeps many in the shadows. Any family within the United States right now that is here legally and has been here for 20 years can apply for citizenship. We can't apply as normal citizens. And that's what the hard part is. For those people who say you need to go back to your country, you broke the law, what do you tell them? Seeking asylum is not a legal entry. Two, that although we broke a law, we are not trying to cause anything bad to happen in this country. Fuerza Juventud will continue posting these signs across the neighborhood tomorrow. And on Sunday, they'll organize a Know Your Rights event. We're live in Pilsen. Cesar Rodriguez, CBS2 News. Erica, back uh, to you. All right, Cesar, thank you.